So let's go ahead and get started. There's incredible interest in AI um, across the industry. And this is also, you know, when we look at it, AI is really the defining technology that's shaping the next generation of computing. And frankly, it's AMD's largest and most strategic long-term growth opportunity. Now, in AI, we're focused on three key areas. First, it's delivering a broad portfolio of high-performance GPUs, CPUs, and adaptive computing solutions for AI training and inference spanning across data center, edge, and intelligent endpoints. Second, it's developing an open and proven software platform to enable our AI hardware to be deployed broadly and easily. And third, it's really working with the industry and it's expanding the deep and collaborative partnerships we have established to really enable the ecosystem to accelerate AI solutions at scale. Because in this space, there is no question that AI will be the key driver of silicon consumption for the foreseeable future. But the largest opportunity is in the data center. It's just one of the many stories of you know, how people are using AI to uh, really accelerate sort of next generation systems. So uh, turning to AI hardware, um, let me say, the generative AI and large language models have changed the landscape, okay? The need for more compute is growing exponentially. CDNA is the underlying architecture for our instinct accelerators. It's designed specifically for AI and HPC workloads. CDNA3 is our brand new architecture that uses a new compute engine, the latest data formats, five and six nanometer process technology, and the most advanced chiplet packaging technologies. At CES earlier this year, we previewed MI300A. It's the world's first data center APU. And what we have is our CDNA3 GPU architecture with 24 high performance Zen 4 CPU cores. And we also add with that 128 gigabytes of HBM3 memory, all in a single package. And what we have is unified memory across the CPU and GPU. So of course, um, I wanna show you the chip in action for the very first time. So let's watch MI300 in action, shall we? Uh, for this demo, we wanted to show you a large language model running real-time inference on a single GPU. We're actually going to run the recently released uh, Falcon 40B foundational large language model, which is currently the most popular model on Hugging Face right now, featuring 40 billion parameters. So let's watch, for the first time ever, MI300X running Falcon on a single GPU accelerator. All right, let's start. We have to give the model a prompt. So we are here in San Francisco. Let's say, write a poem about San Francisco. Here we go, the poem's coming. You can see it's responding in real time. I'm not a great poet, I don't know about you guys. The city of dreams that always keeps you yearning for more. I would say that poem's pretty good, huh? Now look, you guys have all used um, you know, generative AI already, and you've seen a number of generative AI demos in the, uh, in the past few months. But what I want to emphasize that's special about this demo is it's the first time a large language model of this size can be run entirely in memory on a single GPU. A single MI300X can run models up to approximately 80 billion parameters. Our goal with MI300X is to make it as easy to deploy as possible. And what that means is the infrastructure is also incredibly important which is why I'm also excited to announce the AMD Instinct platform. And, and what we're doing with this platform is, again, we're all about open infrastructure. So what we're putting is eight MI300Xs in the industry standard OCP infrastructure. And for customers, what that means is they can use all of this AI compute capability and memory of MI300X in an industry standard platform that drops right into their existing infrastructure with actually very minimal changes. And with this leveraging of OCP uh, platform specification, we're actually accelerating customers' time to market and reducing overall development costs while making it really easy to deploy MI300X into their existing AI rack and server infrastructure. So um, I'm happy to say that MI300A began sampling to our lead HPC and AI customers earlier this quarter, and we're on track to begin sampling MI300X and the AGPU Instinct platform beginning in the third quarter. And in addition, we expect both of these products to ramp in production in the fourth quarter of this year. So I really look forward to sharing more details on the MI300 family when we launch later this year.
Now, since launching Epic in 2017, we have been laser focused on building the industry's best data center CPUs. Epic is now the industry standard in the cloud, given our leadership performance and TCO across a wide range of workloads. And that momentum is just growing as we ramp our fourth gen Epic Genoa processors. Genoa features up to 96 high performance 5 nanometer Zen 4 cores. It has the latest I.O. that includes PCI Gen 5, 12 channels of DDR5 memory, and support for CXL. We launched Genoa actually last November, and it had leadership performance and efficiency. So let's just take a look at some of those metrics for Genoa. Starting first with the cloud, integer performance is key. We deliver up to 1.8 times more performance per watt than the industry, compared to the, using the industry standard spec power benchmark. But what I did say earlier is that data center workloads are becoming increasingly more specialized, requiring optimized computing solutions across CPUs, DPUs, and of course, AI accelerators. So all of these factors actually drove the development of Bergamo. Bergamo is actually our first Epic processor designed specifically for cloud workloads. As you guys know, I love my chips. This is um, our new cloud native processor, and what we have here is there's actually a new compute die. So the compute die is different from Genoa, uh, using our triplet technology. Um, each of these eight compute dies has 16 of our Zen 4 cores, and then we use the same 6 nanometer I.O. die used by Genoa in the center. If you take a look at the core, the Zen 4C core is actually an enhanced version of the Zen 4 core. Zen 4C is actually optimized for the sweet spot of performance and power. And that actually is what gives us the much better density and energy efficiency. And then we optimize the physical implementation of Zen 4C for power and area. And we also redesigned the L3 cache hierarchy for greater throughput. So if you put all this together, the result is a design that has 35% smaller area. And what you have is each of the eight compute triplets on Bergamo contains twice the number of cores as was on Genoa. And that's how we get to 128 cores per socket. But importantly, as I said, it's fully software compatible and it's also fully platform compatible with Genoa. And what that means for customers is they can easily deploy either Bergamo or Genoa, depending on their um, overall compute um, needs and their overall workloads. And so we really tried to leverage the overall platform investment in AMD. Now, to enable generative AI, you need both best-in-class hardware but we also need a great software ecosystem. In our newly formed AI uh, group, and um, I can sum up um, our direction and the current state of things right now and how we're enabling AI and software development uh, with three words, open, proven, and ready. Now, while this is a journey, we've made really great progress in building a powerful software stack that works with the open ecosystem of models, libraries, frameworks, and tools. Realizing application performance really does require a leadership software stack optimized for the ecosystem. Let me first cover Rockham, which is the software stack we have for our Instinct data center GPUs. Rockham is a complete set of libraries, runtime, compilers and tools needed to develop, run, and tune AI models and algorithms. A significant portion of Rockham stack is actually open. Our drivers, language runtime, tools like our debugger and profile, and our libraries are all open. So now let's move up the stack to frameworks, and specifically PyTorch, which is one of the you know, most popular and growing uh, framework. And what better person to do that than to have uh, one of the founders of PyTorch uh, talk about the collaboration AMD and PyTorch are doing to advance AI. The PyTorch and AMD collaboration goes way back, several years back. AMD and Meta have been collaborating in various forms, and PyTorch uh, mostly came out of Meta. Um, it's a multi-year collaboration. We've been giving AMD a lot of feedback on many aspects of uh, like the ideal uh, hardware and software to run AI workloads, and AMD and us have been partnering together to build the Rockham stack and a bunch of PyTorch operators and integration to robustly test the whole stack. And I'm pretty excited for the current support, uh, especially like on the Instinct accelerators that, that Rockham enables. And I'm, I'm pretty excited about MI300 as well. <laughs> uh, so um, I, I think like this is the start. Um, I, I, I'm looking forward to like how customers end up like finding the maturity of the stack, but like we've spent a lot of time trying to like make sure it does come out right.
Hugging Face is the leading enabler of AI model innovation in the open source community. They offer an extremely wide range of models, um, including transformers that are at the heart of generative AI, but also vision models and models for um, all kinds of other applications and use cases. So here to talk to us more about their groundbreaking work and the partnership we have with Hugging Face. Thanks for having me. So first, it's important to remember that uh, most progress in AI in the past five to 10 years has been thanks to open science and open source. Maybe we would be 50 years away from where we are today without it. Now, when we look to the future, um, open science and open source AI are not only a way to accelerate technology, but also to level the playing field. In the future, we want every single company to be able to train and run their chat GPT on AMD hardware, right? Um, and all of that allows companies to build AI themselves, right? Not just to use AI through APIs, for example. By doing so, most of the time with customized, specialized, smaller models, it makes AI faster, cheaper, and better to run. Uh, can you share what the Hugging Face and AMD partnership is going to deliver? Yes, we're super excited about this new partnership. So Hugging Face is lucky to have become the most used open platform for AI. Today we have 15,000 companies using our software and they have shared over half a million open models, data sets and demos, like some you might have heard of, like Stable Diffusion, Falcon, Bloom, Starcoder, Music Gen that has just been released by Meta a few days ago. We really appreciate the partnership with our partners and a very, very special thank you to our partners who are here with us today. AWS, Meta, Microsoft, Citadel, PyTorch, and Hugging Face. We truly believe in co-development, co-innovation, and partnership. It's been a great day as we take another major step forward to make AMD the data center and AI partner of choice. Thank you so much for joining us.